Good afternoon everyone. Today I am holding a free purpose activation ritual on Zoom and I thought that I would take you guys along with me while I set up my ritual space. I actually don't normally set up a space but today I'm feeling very energetically excited <laughs> about this and yeah I'm gonna do it and I thought it would be a fun thing to show you guys. I'm gonna be doing more of these rituals once every month or potentially even more frequently than that. They're free, so if you'd like to join us next time, the link will be in the description. I'm actually going to be holding the ritual in my office. This is my favorite room in the house, hence why I made it my office. It's got beautiful plants everywhere and it's a bit messy. So that's my morning ritual space. Tessa loves that window got my chair that I use for dancing you can't see that my yoga mat more plants you can't see any of that <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna set it up in front of this what's that called mandala wall hanging so I will need to clean the floor move all of this mess out of the way put down three yoga mats so that when I sit it's comfy one two and three on the bottom here and then I'm just gonna put this over the top to make it look prettier Okay, now for all the fun things, this is, does not look very good, but this is some sage that's almost run out and some Palo Santo. So I'm just gonna sit this here so that I can burn that before we start. Also, I just wanted to say that clearing the space is really, really important before you do any spiritual work and making sure that your energy is clear because you need to create room to, to have those higher vibrational things or the things that you're working on to come into your space and into your body and into your energy. So they can't do that if it's already full of like gunk and dirt and like gross stuff. So clean the floor first, clean your house first. I've spent like a day cleaning already and you don't have to do it, but it's the full moon as well. So I'm in a cleaning phase. And then you wanna clean your space energetically too. Cleansing the space with the sage, setting the intention that anything that's not in my highest and best good and also the people who are doing this ritual's highest and best good to leave this space, leave the energy. And I'm just gonna do this for a couple of minutes. So now I'm just gonna put some crystals around my mat to create like a nice little <laughs> contained, protected, high vibe, all the beautiful things area. I put my Healy on the charger because I'm gonna be using that. And yeah, I feel like I'm ready. I've been preparing my I feel like I'm ready because I've been preparing my energy for Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready because I've been preparing my energy all morning. First I did a meditation, Wim Hof, and then I did some dance. I've just been dancing around my bedroom. It's been really fun. Um, I've been just chilling out. I've been like doing washing and cleaning and clearing out all of the stuff that no longer is needed. Very full moony. This is not actually meant to be a full moon ritual, but of course, synchronicities right like i didn't actually plan it but of course it's on the full moon so i'm really excited about this i will keep you guys posted on how it went maybe i'll check in afterwards i'll catch you then i'm back still haven't started yet i've just written these little notes um of intention for everyone in this ritual so i'm just going to read them to you this is a purpose activation ritual my hair's doing all the craziness so all participants in this energy present and future will receive activated courage to step fully into their purpose in life everyone in this ritual will be activated in their purpose work and life miss mission all fears and anxieties will be released and clarity will be felt by all participants and everyone in this space and energy will be clearly guided to their purpose in life they'll see feel and hear it this is my intention going into this ritual and i can already feel I can feel this already happening in my own body and I can already this is what happens to me before I do something that's like really big is um <laughs> I can feel it in my body like a week before I've been feeling this for like 10 days so I'm so excited for this to be like happening and 
kind of over because then everyone will have this energy that I've been carrying in the container. So I'm really, really excited. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to go get my Healy from the charger. I'm going to get myself a glass of water, put some essential oils in the oil diffuser thingy, set up my laptop so that I can start the Zoom. It's done by a Zoom. It's not in person, obviously and oh maybe i'll do a card reading no nah, i don't think i'll do that make sure my computer has a charger what else uh that's it i've just drunk a cup of tea had a little chill out tess is over there sleeping hopefully she stays nice and quiet during and yeah yay yay, yay.